In the Java Essential Training course, I briefly mentioned the use of enum classes, a special type of class that can be used to contain values that serve as constants. In that course, I showed how to create an enum class in line. But now, I'll show how to create an independent class that can be used throughout an application. I'm working in a version of my Olives application named enum classes. Right now, my Olive names are all represented as strings. So, for example, if I go to olive.java, that class has a public field named olive name data typed as a string, and that data type is reflected in all of the constructor methods and in the toString method. And in the main method, I'm calling a method of the olive jar called add olive, and I'm passing in a string. And within that class, olive jar, I'm passing in a string again here. Now, using all these strings as data types makes your code very prone to errors. It's incredibly easy to mistype it. And if later on you need to evaluate that value, it's very easy to get it wrong. So by using enum classes, you can guarantee the correctness of your choices. You'll essentially localize the spelling of the options in a single class and then use those options everywhere else in the application. I'll start by creating a special enum class. I'll use an existing package, my olives package. I'll right-click and choose New. And instead of class, I'll choose enum. And I'll give it a name of olive name. This is a class in many ways like other classes. And its name uses the same convention as any other class, an initial uppercase character and camel caps for the rest. An enum class differs from a conventional class by the keyword enum. Within the class definition, start by defining your constants. So for example, I have four different kinds of olives that I've used in my application. Because they're going to be constants, I'll spell them in all uppercase. Kalamata, Ligurio, Picoline, and Golden. At this point, my enum class is complete. Each of these values will be represented as a string exactly the way it's spelled here, all uppercase. If you want to change the case for display in your application, you can do that, but it takes a little bit more code, and I'll show you when I come back to this class later. For now, I need to modify a bunch of code throughout the application to use this enumerator. I'll first go to olive.java. My public field named olive name is data typed as a string. I'm going to change that from string to the name of the enum class, olive name. Now again, the data type olive name has an initial uppercase character, whereas the variable or field name has an initial lowercase character. And that's how you distinguish them from each other. Now I'll go through and make exactly the same change in each of the other places where I'm referring to that variable name. I'll save my changes to the class and scan for errors. And I see that I don't have any errors in this class. I'm pretty much done here. But now I've exposed other errors in the application. I'll use the problems view to find and fix them. Here's a constructor method for the olive jar class. It's calling a constructor method for the olive class, and it's passing in a string. So instead of passing in the string golden, I'm now going to use one of the options in the olive name enumerator. That code will look like this, olive name dot golden. Notice that Eclipse shows you the values that are available, and I can select it, and that makes sure that I've spelled the value correctly. If I misspell it, now the compiler will catch the error. I'll save my changes and look for my next error. Now, I'm calling the constructor method and passing in all of name. That code looks OK. But the problem is here, where I've data typed the value that's being passed into the constructor. And once again, I need to update that to match the enum class's name. I'll save and go to the last problem that's represented here. And that's exactly the same problem, which I'll fix in the same way. I'll save all of my changes there, but that exposes some new problems. And I'll go through and fix those as well. In my main class, I'm calling the add all of method, and I'm passing in the string Kalamata. I'll delete that string and replace it with all of name dot Kalamata. And I'll go through and change these as well. This time, I'll use all of name dot Picoline and all of name dot Ligurio. And I'll get rid of that last olive. I don't need it. I'll save my changes, and everything looks OK. All of the problems are gone. I'll run the code, and in the console, I now see the output. It's a golden, it's a Kalamata, and so on. So it's working, 
But as I mentioned, I'm now getting the name of the enumerator option as an all uppercase string, and I might not want that. So here's how you fix that. I'm going to decorate the enumerator class by adding a field that's a string so that whenever any part of the application wants to output that value, it'll get the string that's embedded in the enumerator. So I'll go back to all of name.java. First, I'm going to create a private field. I'll data type it as a string, and I'll call it name as string. Next, I'll define a constructor method. Just as with any other class, the constructor method has the same name as the class itself. But for enumerators, the constructor method must be private. With an enum class, you can't define a public constructor. My constructor method will receive a string, also called name as string. And within the constructor method, I'll assign the value of the argument to the value of the private field. And finally, I'll override the classes to string method. I'll move the cursor below the existing method call. I'll press control space, and I'll choose the to string method. I want to override it. I'll remove the to do comment, and in the return statement, I'll return the value of this.nameIsString. Now, here's how I'll pass the value through to the constructor method. For each of the options, I'll place the cursor after the option name, which is in all uppercase. I'll put in a pair of parentheses, and I'll pass in the string I want to output. Then to complete the code, I'll add a semicolon at the end of the list. So let's look through the whole code. The enumerator is called olive name. It has four options, and each of the options has an identifier, which is all uppercase, and an associated string. The string is being passed into the private constructor, which in turn is saving that value into the private field called name as string. Then whenever the object is passed into something that wants a string, the overridden to string method is called, and that's what's returned. I'll save the changes. I'll check my problems view to make sure that all of my code's OK. And then I'll run the application, and there's the result. I'm now outputting the same thing as I was before, the name of the olive as the user-friendly string that I defined. But now, whenever I want to designate an olive name anywhere in the application, I'll use an identifier. And if I misspell the identifier, the compiler will catch it. But I won't misspell it because Eclipse will help me fill it in automatically. Enum classes can make your application much more sturdy and easier to maintain in the long run. And as long as you know the trick, for how to create private strings and private constructors, you can add as many fields and build in as many calculations into the construction of these options as you want to.